Hey, it's Mario here, and in this quick video, it's time to answer the question of how often should you train your abs? And this is a very controversial issue. I mean, depending on who you ask, you might get the answer of you need to train your abs at all. You know, you just do your compound lifts, you do your big three, your squats, deadlifts, bench press, pull ups, your overhead pressing, and your abs get plenty of work. And then there's the other side of the spectrum with guys who are doing 500 repetitions per workout. Every single day, they're trying to build up their abs. They're doing countless different exercises and they're claiming that it helps them with their ab development. So which one of these is correct? I mean, what are my recommendations? And I mean, based on the current body of evidence that we have and what I've seen from training frequency research, abs respond pretty well for the majority of people in most cases to just being trained same as any other muscle group. So somewhere in that frequency of two to three times per week will probably optimize the development of your abdominal muscles. And then you wanna train them in a variety of different repetition ranges as well. I mean, somewhere in that eight to 12, maybe some work in that 15 plus range will definitely be beneficial if we're talking about uh, weighted exercises, we're adding resistance and progressively uh, building those muscles same as you would build any other muscle group and also adding some isometric type of work ISO holds, the planks, side planks, and these type of movements can be quite beneficial. So basically treat them as any other muscle group. That would be my general recommendations. Where does this play a role? Well, look, I mean, we know that no matter how many crunches you do or sit-ups or whatever you do, if your body fat percentage is high, you will not be able to see your abs. But in certain cases, a person might drop their body fat percentage quite low and be at a really low body fat percentage, but not have those abdominal muscles that really pop out. And uh, that is definitely based on certain genetics and also how well those abdominal muscles are developed. So in that case, if you kind of, I guess are already lean and you're looking, well, these muscles are definitely underdeveloped, then you might actually want to amp up the frequency and also the volume for the abdominal muscles that you um, have. But in certain other cases, there are people who don't even need to train their abs at all. I mean, I'm kind of more toward this side where my abs are pretty much responsive to just doing compound lifts. I just do abs once or twice a week with my favorite movements such as hanging leg raises, cable crunches, planks sometimes. I mean, I don't need to focus so much on abdominal work. They just ha genetically look very blocky and they're a little bit asymmetrical, but it's fine, right? They're already popping out. I just need to lower my body fat percentage and they even show at about 12, 13, even 14% body fat. While for some other cases where I had with clients, I mean, you, they would drop down to seven, eight percent body fat, you know, DEXA, all of that. And the abs are just, I mean, they're there, but the separations between the abs are not, uh, they're just not simply standing out. And that's something, there's a case for you to not only exercise the abs with particular movements where um, you can progressively add resistance, but also to work the abs in the proper way where you would use the mind-muscle connection, you would actually feel, um, you would think where it's supposed to feel when you're performing these movements and you will also practice posing and contracting your abs because there's a lot of evidence that actually says that the amount of activation you can get in a muscle group is somewhat correlated to how well you can grow that muscle, how well you can develop it. So it's really, really important with abs that if you cannot control your abs, if you cannot con contract them, you wanna do certain things, you maybe even wanna practice some of uh, vacuum posing, some of these uh, things that might actually help you activate the ab muscles uh, harder when you're training them, and that will also allow you to develop and really have that physique that you want. So my two cents here on training abdominal muscles, uh, key points in the description below as usual. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Aside from that, make sure to hit that subscribe button right in your face to support the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.